I want to respond to the young lady in this video right here. I couldn't respond to her on TikTok because for whatever reason, she had the stitching blocked. So I really couldn't um, respond to her video, but I'm going to respond to it here and hope that she sees this video. All due respect, sir. I don't understand why Christian Christians go so hard, especially metadated Christians, go so hard for a religion that was conditioned to hold metadated people down. Myself personally, I've never felt held down. I'm 61 years old and I've never been held down. If I was ever in a place in my life where I felt held down, it was because I kept myself from advancing forward. I can't blame someone for holding me down. Now, I may run into, um, if I'm pursuing a certain career or job or, uh, yeah, they can stop me from getting that, but that don't stop my grind. I'm gonna always find a way around that legally. Doesn't necessarily mean that you have to do something illegal to make it in life. And see, that's the problem with a lot of quote unquote melanated people is that they put their life in someone else's hand. I've always had control of my life and my decisions. Now, I don't recall ever saying that I was a Christian. See, you got my comment right above your head, and you keep saying the problem with Christians. When did I ever say that I was a Christian? Not only that, you said especially melanated people. I don't color code my life and the color of my skin does not dictate the choices and decisions that I make in life. See, my life does not revolve around the color of my skin. That may be good for you, but not for me. So don't put me in the same category as a lot of black Americans because I'm an, I'm an entirely different person. I'm an individual. I think for myself, color does not dictate my life. They use that Bible for slavery. There is no, why would God be jealous? Why would he be a jealous God when he made man in his image? Yeah, the Bible doesn't make sense to me. Well, now there's a script in the Bible that says, if this gospel be hid, it's hid to those that are lost. So when I hear people say the Bible don't make sense to me, and then they have all of these excuses as to why they don't follow the Bible, or as to why they don't attend church, or why they don't believe in God, to me it's an excuse. So if you don't understand it, that tells me right there that you never studied the Bible. You never studied the Bible. If this gospel be hid, it's hid to those that are lost. I did it. I did Baptist. I did Christianity. I did Apostle. I did Muslim. I did Jehovah Witness. Well, maybe you need to settle down and stay in one place and learn something. You've been in all of these so-called religions and you're still complaining. Maybe the problem is not the religion itself. Maybe the problem is you. So maybe it's not Baptist or uh, Catholicism or Jehovah Witness or uh, Muslim or, or Islam. Maybe it's you. Maybe you're the problem and not the religions. Because if you were in all of those religions and you didn't learn nothing and you're still not content, it goes back to that scripture I told you about. If this gospel be hid, it's hid to those that are lost.
And it just never made sense to me. It just, it never made sense to me. Spirituality, I'm home. Now, like I mentioned in a prior video about spirituality, see, a lot of y'all like to use spirituality, but spirituality is comprised of roaches and rats and stink bugs and maggots and feces and flies. And you get my point. It's a combination of a lot of things. And a lot of y'all are always talking about demons and tapping into your demon energy and calling upon demons and all of this nonsense. But have you ever seen a demon in its true form? Because if you saw a demon in its true form, you wouldn't be making this video. Seeing a demon in its true form changes your whole outlook on life itself. You're never the same when you see a demon in its truest form. And it's not a pretty sight. Sir, can you go and look up the guys on YouTube? That's Z-E-I-T-G-I-S-T. The guys. I've already done my research on Zeitgeist. Okay, long time ago, a long time ago, I've already done my research on Zeitgeist, and it's a bunch of crap. Now, you just got done talking about melanated people and slavery and the white man and all this nonsense. Whose belief system is that? That, start, that was started by white folks. It wasn't started by melanated people, as you say. So did you do your research on Zeitgeist, or did you just see... Uh, one chapter or video that you're trying to reference me to. See, see, you don't know what you want to do. You don't know who you are or where you are. I'll continue. The documentary. Look at part one. Documentary? Okay. And they'll show you, they're going to tell you why Christianity was invented. Who was they? You mean the white people that's in Zeitgeist? Those white people? The slave master's children? Okay. It's not real. It's to brainwash and control. Yeah. Catholics. Y'all Christians and Catholics, look at all the molestations. The child trafficking. I bet you Democrat, and the Democrats are heavy into child trafficking. How do you think your ancestors got here through slavery? The Democrats, but yet a lot of you so-called melanated people is holding tight to the Democrat Party. Joe Biden says if you ain't if you don't vote for him, you ain't black. But what did he do for black people since he's been in office? Right? But when you talk start talking about child pedophilia and sleeping in the church, the preachers sleeping with people, but yet what about the Democrats? What about your people, I'm going to say, that's in the same sex relationships? Now you talk about preachers that's sleeping with women. Now that tells me right there that you hadn't studied the Bible because the Bible tells you about the wolves in sheep clothing, it tells you about the false Christ and the false prophets that's supposed to come and it's going to deceive many. So that tells me right there that you really didn't study the Bible. Okay. But at least that preacher, that man is going after the opposite sex. At least he's looking at women and he's not looking at another man. See, so you could talk about who is sleeping with who in the church, but what about you? Have you been with the same sex? Have you committed adultery or fornication? And not to even mention the number of you folks out there that's into bestiality. But that's another topic. By these preachers and pastors. What about the pastor? I was raised up in the church where the pastor was sleeping with all the women in the congregation. 
then why were you still in that church? Why did you remain in that church where the pastor was sleeping with every woman in the congregation? And if he slept with every woman in the congregation, that means he slept with you and your mama. Am I wrong? What God told him to do that? You know, to each his own. We do. We have our own. That's the thing about free will. We have the choice to choose what we want to be in. Go, sir, please go look at that documentary. Our folks being praying to these, our oppressors, God, not ours, not metadata God, not ours, theirs. So you want me to go look at the, the white oppressor that started Zeitgeist? You want me to listen to those people and be very brainwashed by those people be conditioned by Zeitgeist, the slave master's children. Is that is that what you're saying to me? Black Christians, they be the main ones, like pounding the most hatred stuff. I'm not saying it's you. I'm just going by the experiences that I have had with metadata Christians. I'm not even talking about the snowflakes. Not at all. I'm talking about my own people. Spirituality ain't it. So are you telling are you talking about the blacks that kill blacks? Right? Because there's a lot of that going on. More blacks have killed blacks have killed more blacks than lives that were taken, I say, in the Vietnam War and all the wars that were here in the United States. And all the blacks that were killed during slavery or during captivity. See, the black on black violence and crime and killing supersedes that. Not to mention the number of abortions where black females, or better yet, as you say, melanated females are aborting their children. They even have signs up to say the most da dangerous place for an unborn child is in the womb of his black mother. That's the most dangerous place for an unborn black child is in the womb of his black mother. And you're talking about Christians? And preachers? Think twice about that. You haven't really done much studying, have you? Ain't for everybody. It really not. Just like Christianity. If that's what you want to do, all means, do it. Just don't knock nobody else's stuff. Please go look at that documentary. It's going to change your whole mind. Your whole, it's going to change your whole outlook if you. All right. So that's enough for that. But um, it's quite interesting, huh? So it's sad that you have a lot of so-called melanated people that's got the same mentality she does. I mean, you complain about the church. You complain about the preachers. You talk about what the preachers are doing, what the Christians are doing. But yet you are Democrat. You support Joe Biden. You know, you guys, black on black murder. You got black females against black men and black men against black females. You got black females rejecting their children, murdering their children from the womb, not even giving your child a chance to live. And you have the audacity to talk about the church. See, no, everybody in church is not perfect, but those people are in the right place to get right. So you, you can't come to church and expect to be right. You, if, if there's a if you find a perfect church anywhere, any perfect religion, then it's not perfect anymore because now you're there. See, so at least they're in the right place to get right. But when you have people that's drifting like that, you was Catholic, Muslim, Christian, Jehovah Witness, Church of God in Christ, Church of God by faith, Methodist, Apostolic, you're all of those things, but you haven't learned anything. So maybe the problem is you and not the church.